So today we will see in this pipe network 2D that I have taken from this uh, part. You can refer the same. So how to change the pipe network surface alignment and how to configure our own rules we will see now. So for that I am just going to pipe network and you can select any of the pipes and just to right click and you just to click edit network. Once you click edit network you will be available with the network layout tools and here you can able to click this icon for select surface. So in that we are available with the three different surfaces. So one is for corridor, one is EG and another is for road one surface. Now I am just going to select EG surface. So once you selected you need to click OK. And this is for surface. And next one I am just going to tell about alignment. So just to select alignment this icon. And here you are available with the two different alignment. One is for road one and another for storm, XC storm. Now I am just going to select the XC storm and then click OK. Okay, once you've done with the surface and also alignment and now you can just go for parts list. So just, so just click this parts list and here you can just go for edit current selection. And here you are available with the structures and pipes. For example, if you are going with the concrete rectangular head wall, just remove the plus button and which size you are going to use. For example, this one if you are using, then click the rules here. And here you can just go for edit current selection. And here you can remove the plus buttons and then we can able to change the values over the rule. So maximum drop value 3 feet, maximum pipe diameter 4 feet like that. If you want to change anything you can change here and you can just click OK. And you click OK. Now I am just going for pipes and remove the plus button. And here for example concrete pipe and 24 inch concrete pipe if you are going to use you can check the rules over here. Same edit current selection, remove the plus button. And you can change the maximum length, maximum cover values. So once you've done, you can click OK. Now I am just going to have the same. We will see how we are getting any violations or not. So click OK everywhere. Now I am just going for a structure. And here I am just going for concrete rectangular head wall and the second one. With the second one, I am just going to select the pipes also 24 inch concrete pipe. Now I am just going to create only the structure. So just to go for structures only. And uh, you can just use uh, this option. Station offset. And select the alignment. For example, this, uh, this alignment. And uh, specify the station. For example, I am just going with the 400. So it was there. That uh, red color circle. And you can specify the offset as minus 15. So now we got created the structure. So here, so now you can just go for pipe only and go near the structure and you will be available with this kind of icon. You just click it. So again for the next one. So you can just go for station offset and I'm just selecting that and I'm just going to put 550 and offset minus 15 and I'm just a so and then put enter you can use a C for curve. So now again I am just going near here so you can connect it. So just escape. Now we can able to see this uh, structure is not uh, perpendicular to the pipe. What we can do means you can use the grip editing option. Here you have the grip and you can just move like this. And again, you can just click like this. It will be like perpendicular to the pipe. Now I'm just going for another uh, structure. So this option and I'm just going only structure only. So I'm just going to take a station offset. Click the alignment. And I'm just going to put it 200. So it is like asking uh, offset minus 15. And then enter. So now we got the one structure at the 200 station point. Now you can just take a pipe only. And if you want to change the slope also, we can just put the up slope. So then you select.
so select the this structure so escape okay now we will see from prospector tab we have pipe network and here we have network and the network one so just to remove that plus we have pipes okay immediately in below section we are available with the informations see here you have status maximum cover is violated for pipe 8 pipe 9 pipe 12 so you can click any one of that and right click and you can just click zoom to so it will zoom the overall pipe so now if you want to see the pipe property just right click pipe property and here you have rules tab where you can able to see maximum length we are provided 200 but actually it is like 200.04 so it is a kind of violation so that's why it is showing so for the next pipe right click pipe property and rules see here it is like a maximum cover violation maximum cover we provided just to 10 only but actually it is like a 21.861 so it's a kind of violation so you can change this then the violation will go so 10 is like actual but what we provided is more than that so that's why the violation occurs so now i'm just going for structure only and i'm just going near to the pipe when going near to the pipe we can able to see the breakpoint icon which means where you can able to keep the structure so like that you can just go near the alignment and pipe you can able to place your structure see but sometimes it is not coming perfectly then you can delete and you can just redo So accordingly our pipe list will be updated see from here now we can able to see the status and everything now we got reduced right click pipe property only the maximum cover violation and it is like a maximum length uh, violation and just to be removed because of the structure that we pay, place in between so only the maximum cover so like this we can able to change the surface alignment rules and we can able to work in our pipe network in civil trading.